All right. Uh, hey all, myself Pridvi. Uh, I'm one of the maintainers for this project. So in this session, we'll go over uh, how you can contribute to this uh, Helm Charts repo, how you can launch uh, your open search and dashboards uh, using the Helm Charts. Also, we're going to walk through a small demo and uh, like uh, we will see like how you can access the cluster when installed via this uh, Helm Chart code. To begin and start with a basic uh, one-liners on uh, what is the necessary for Helm when you can install a product on the fly with whatever uh, supported commands that's given by the product. So let's start with uh, Docker. As you know, Docker is the most widely used tool for the modern applications because of uh, fast deployment, easy to move and maintain, better security, and uh, easy to manage without much dependency of the underlying infrastructure. So you dockerize your application and you run it via Docker compose files or Docker commands and it all breaks up. But if there are a lot of configurations or settings or if you wanna access the application that is spun up by the Docker Compose or with Docker CLI, you need to write your own scripts or uh, some other external party uh, command line utilities you need to use. But there comes a uh, easy way to do it, which is via Kubernetes, okay? So what is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is also an open source and it allows you to easily deploy, deploy your uh, Docker managed applications and you can scale it and you can uh, have other advantages of security in terms of how to access your Docker applications. You can run multiple Docker applications that connect to each other in a secure manner in one Kubernetes cluster. So that being said, in a one-liner, it's a con better container orchestration tool where it manages all your containers under one umbrella. So for Kubernetes to work and make your lives easy, you need to maintain multiple uh, YAML files, which is the way to install the applications. You can also use JSON, but YAML being easy way to manage. You need to maintain multiple deployment files, uh, ingress files, service files, load balancer files and all to launch your application and deploy it. And if you want to maintain uh, further, you need to up keep updating those YAML files and maintain it somewhere. So that seems to be a little complex because imagine you have uh, hundreds of applications and you want to maintain thousands of files for each application and that becomes uh, complicated stuff. Taking an example for open search itself, you have multiple roles for each node where you want to run as a master node, data node or a worker node and imagine you maintain multiple YAML files to just install the open search tool. It's not easy to manage. Then comes a better way to do it, which is uh, Helm CLI, which is the package manager for Kubernetes. In one liner, what uh, Helm, Helm does is it will generate all those YAML files and apply for you in the cluster with a one set of uh, files called as values.yaml. So in a nutshell, you define what you want for your application in values.yaml and rest Helm ensures that it will create those uh, complex uh, templates and apply it to your cluster. End of the day, how you manage your application is what comes down to the best practices. So using Helm CLI and Helm Charts for an application, you can directly configure with uh, easy manage uh, of your YAML files and then directly apply it. So that's the history for uh, Helm as well. And now coming to our repo, which is the Helm Charts, the same way. So it's how better you manage your open search engine and open search dashboards using the Helm Charts. So Helm is mostly with the Go templating because uh, whatever you set in your values or other templates, it ensures it talks to the Kubernetes cluster, creates those YAML files for you and then apply it. So that's about why we need Helm charts. So if you want to run your Dockerized applications, meaning Dockerized open search and open search dashboards, you can directly use the Helm charts, which is easy to set up and configure. That being said, uh, let's talk about some details about this repo. So we have two branches, 1.x and uh, main. Main goes with the latest version always, and 1.x goes with the 1.x uh, series of open search version. Helm Chats also has a storage, storage place where it's called as Artifact Hub, and Artifact Hub is where you store the Helm Chats, and I'll, I'll save these links after, uh, and make sure you get these links as well. But uh, this is the location of the open search and in the Artifact Hub, and this is the location for uh, open search dashboard. 
You can directly install with the installation steps here, but to better understand, let's go to the repo and start installing from the repo end. All right, so the main code uh, folder is charts folder, and we'll go with the main branch because end of the day, the code uh, structure is same. It's just the application version that differs for uh, 1.x and main. So let's go to the chart version and you see there are two charts here, open search and open search dashboard. Let's start with open search. And again, you see the similar directory structure for dashboard as well. But let's start with open search. So there is a values.yaml and the templates. Rest all are defaults, which, uh, which work for the setting of the repo, but not necessarily with the code. Values.yaml is what you tell, like uh, you see it's a key value pair YAML based structure. What like how many replicas of your open search uh, uh, product you want, like uh, what other settings like the open search.yaml and there are a bunch of other settings as well. Like what is the resources you want, what image you want, and you can go through all of the options in, uh, in this readme, but uh, how the code structure works is whatever you pass it in values.yaml, there is a template folder, right? You see, these are the folders that gets created and from values.yaml, it will get injected to this uh, each file that is part of the template. And Helm ensures that that is done and all of these files inside the templates are applied. So that's how easy uh, with how, to, I mean, with Helm charts, uh, you can install open search directly. All right, starting with uh, values.yaml, uh, I already cloned this repo where you can see on my local. And for the environment, you need to have your cluster ready. Right now, uh, I have a cluster which is already ready with two nodes. You can uh, bring up your own cluster uh, with how many other nodes you want. Let me log in quickly. And on my Visual Studio, it's just my terminal what I'm using. And if you can see the get nodes, I have a two node cluster already ready. And you can use it uh, in your own way. Like uh, it's cluster agnostic, Helm charts. It can work in Minikube, AWS, Google Cloud or anything. But end of the day, all you need is a Kubernetes cluster up and running. That being said, uh, let's start with the installation of OpenSearch and OpenSearch dashboard and let's access it quickly. So I'm in the charts folder and under open search folder, you can see values.yaml. So let me make some modifications and I also have a demo steps created. So you can directly install it from the uh, Artifact Hub by just few commands, but uh, to better understand, let's do it on from the repo end. So as you can see, I'm accessing cluster with K because I set kubectl as a, it should be K. So I set the kubectl as k, so that's why I can do kubectl get nodes. Let's create a namespace called demo so that uh, we can organize our open search and open search dashboard here. I already created hence it's there. You can see uh, the demo namespace that's already here. Awesome. So let's clear this and go to the next step. And let me install the open search uh, chart, Helm chart with this command. So you can see Helm install. You need to have an Helm installed uh, as a prereq site. That's a CLI where you can install directly. Helm install OS. OS is the release name. Helm organizes each chart into a separate release and you can tell that release to be part of a namespace and you can tell what file you want to apply. If you directly use, use the artifact hub, you can directly install from the uh, artifact hub, you don't need to mention hyphen F, but to better understand, let's do it from the repo end. So Helm install OS dash and demo. I'm telling to create a release OS under the demo namespace with this particular values.yaml file for the clusters. Uh, oh, I mean, for the open search. So let's go through, let's open the values.yaml and uh, for a demo purposes, I'll disable the persistence and uh, let me see the resources because if you want to start with a small cluster, you can just reduce the resources. Let me keep this to 512 and I can keep this to 50 MI. That should be fine. And now let me install it CD into charts. And I'm charts CD. Let's see the directory structure. Okay, CD charts and LM install. Open search into the demo namespace with that particular uh, values values file. 
So back end, what happens is Helm ensures it creates all those uh, YAML files and then applies for you. You can see it's successfully completed. Now you can see kubectl get pods uh, dash and demo. And awesome. You see, you just see you just uh, created an open search cluster with very minimal setting and with just one command. You don't have to write all those uh, complex YAML files for you to install. So while this is up and running, uh, let me, let's go through the code base. So if you want to install, you can change the cluster name based on these cluster name and node group and whatever settings here, the template uh, files will be generated and applied. It's that simple. And everything is in a Go template language, as I just mentioned. So it's just the key value pair, what you need to be considered about. Feel free to go over this uh, configuration and read, uh, read the keys, what its options are for and then you can uh, play with it by changing them. You can also contribute if any documentation is missing. Actually, that's a good start because you'll better understand uh, what key, I mean, what option does what in the open search uh, cluster. So while this is uh, running and amazing, if you see it's uh, the, the full-blown open search cluster is ready and you can access it with the port forward. So, for the demo purposes, and if you want to play, you can use this port forward in Kubernetes where it ensures that the it connects to the local service that you already created. Let me show you the service, okay, get SVC dash and demo. So this is the service that it gets created as well. And you can connect it using the uh, port forward mechanism. Awesome. So once it gets connected, you can pretty much access it with local host. It will create a local host server for you. And you can see you can, uh, it gets created. It shows the cluster state. Let's see how many nodes are there. So it should show three because we spin up three nodes. Amazing. So a full blown open search cluster is already readily available for you to use. Now, while open search is there, let's install the dashboard. And again, it's the same code base and same templating, but it's a different chat stored in a different folder. And also the same structure, it has values.yaml and it has the templates where values will be end of the day feeding into these template files and then get supplied by the Helm. So let me start this uh, port forward and let me install the Helm chart. This time, if you notice, it's a different release name and in the same namespace and a different chart folder. Previously, it was the Helm chart folder. I mean, the open set chart folder. Now it's the dashboard chart folder. Let's install the dashboard. And the same way I'll connect it to the dashboard. So the dashboard in turn talks to the open search and I'll show you that communication as well. That is in the values.yaml, you can see it talks to the open search service that we just did port forward to. So it's already created. Now if I do k okay, get parts dash and demo, you should see four parts, three open search and one dashboard. While it's fully running one by one, we'll access the dashboard with the port forward as well. So it's that easy how you can create a full blown open search dashboard and open search with the Helm charts. Uh, that's the power. You don't have to maintain uh, multiple files, check in the GitHub and then pull one by one and apply. So let's see if it's up already up. You can all as well check the logs. It just outputs the container logs, dash and demo hyphen F. And I can see it's connected based on the log information. So let's see the health of that part come up. You can watch it as well. Awesome, you see one by one it's fully ready. Now let's port forward to the dashboard service. So I did with 5601 because that's what uh, the service is uh, using. Example, if you see, 5601 of the dashboard service and port forward is like to local host to the service port. So once I have that, uh, let's connect to the dashboard. 5601. It asks you to the password as well. Since I already logged in once, it did not ask. Um, it just caches it. But remember the default password is admin admin because you did not change anything in the values.yaml. And let's see the cluster. So let's go to discover and uh, let's see the dev tools and let's see the notes. You should see the same output that we saw before because dashboard talks to our open search. 
and let's see the search what all indexes we have so you see it has uh, it shows all the information of the search there is an option to preload the data as well like add your own data and there is a default option as well that you can add which you can play with it but what what i want to show is with just two commands helm install once you have the charts in your local you have installed a full blown uh, open search and open search dashboard ready for use this is how simple it makes it uh, the team who wants to manage this open search and dashboard uh, installation easy all right that's the demo and uh, let's clean up the resources so before that i want to show you the helm release patterns helm ls dash and demo and you should see the two releases which is demo in the demo name space os and ost let's delete those both to make sure the resources are wiped out while that gets deleted uh, we can go over uh, through the repo settings quickly to and wrap up this demo so i'm just deleting the open search dashboard and open search and finally deleting the namespace as well so while it takes time you can uh, open the issues so there are as well multiple issues that you can see but if you open the labels you can search for a good first issue and you can start picking up them these good first issues are not related to any uh, parent issue or meta there are an isolated issues for you to contribute to the repo and that's a good start to go with other than that it's pretty much all yaml files there are charts location and this does for uh, releases this folder is for own github releases which is nothing to do with the code the majority of the code base is all in this open search and dashboard so yeah that's with uh, with the demo and uh, all the best so we'll see at the contribution pull request thank you everyone